quarantine be like this might be the shot i think hopefully so hey what's up internet Zilon here never see me before ever in your life that's for sure um because my first video ever so we'll see how this goes now i feel like my first video i didn't want to be too complicated so i figured i would do a video of what i bought during quarantine time so do not judge me on the stuff that i bought no so brief information about me i am 25 years old my birthday is august 5th i am a leo I do like to draw so that might be some stuff that i might do later videos who knows i don't know what content i'm gonna do on here i know for sure this is gonna be like a hobby type of thing it's gonna be nothing too serious I'm not really counting on it to be serious it's just something for fun especially right now since we're all locked in at home that's how i feel right now so i'm gonna go over everything that i bought which has been sephora victoria's secret nike a little bit of amazon not too much old navy and fashion nova these are the main places that i bought i did a huge huge shopping spree on especially fashion nova they kind of fit especially right now since i can't leave my house which is not fun i don't have it that hard i know a lot of people have it worse than me so and you know i hope people are taking this time to just chill out you know go buy sooner than you think and i can't wait till it does because i can't wait till summer which is why I bought a lot of stuff. So let's get to it. Um, Sephora. Okay. So there's a few things that I bought. Yes, I put it back in the box. Yes, I've already been using it, but I just want to be aesthetically pleasing. Like if this is your first time seeing it. But I have been using this stuff for about a week. Yeah, like about a little over a week. Um, the first thing that I have is this is from Sephora. This is from Walmart. And it's called Super Greens Cleanser, Nourishing Cleanser. So I bought it because now I feel like my skin doesn't look that bad, which is awesome. But um, before all this, before a week and a half ago, I was breaking out a lot right here and a lot right here. Like these like weird ones, they've calmed down a lot now, but it was a struggle, like a really bad struggle. So this is pretty good. I really like it. I really enjoy it. So I took a little dent, just a little bit of a dent, but not too much. Now after cleanser, I will do a serum. I bought two. This is the Ordinary. Um, this is the nice niacinamide 10 plus sink. This is really nice. It's really it makes my skin really nice and smooth. Um, it does help to balance oil, to balance the sebum of your skin, especially like on your forehead or anywhere that's oily. It will help control it. I just do one drop, nothing too crazy. I just slather it on my face. That's pretty much it. The other serum I am using is the Q10 serum by Ink by Inkly List. Um, I do enjoy this too. I feel like with this one though, it does warm up my face a little bit. I don't know if it's because like I'm not used to it yet. It doesn't burn. If it burned, I would stop using it. But this is pretty good. This really just helps just balancing my skin. Um, then what I haven't tried yet, I want to do treatments now. Um, I want to do a chemical exfoliant. I haven't used it yet because I'm looking for the right time considering that I have been outside a lot. So that's not fun. Um, for my skin it, I don't want it to like break out some more but what I want to do is to use this new serum it's called the ordinary lactic acid I bought this one because since I'm new to exfoliating um, chemical exfoliants I fit I picked the lactic one because I feel like the salicylic one will be too strong on my face and I don't want it to get more sensitive so this one I hope will be really nice to use this you should use it once a week which is what I'm planning to do too. Don't overuse it, otherwise your skin's gonna like burn off, which is not fun. So that's a little thing I got there. And for moisturizing, I got the Vacupol, Vacupol oil, the Inkly List. It's like a, it's a, it is a moisturizer. Um, I like it. It has been doing really good wonders on my skin. I really like it. I did purchase another moisturizer for night. That's coming in a little bit later. I haven't got it yet. It's the Olay one. Um, I'll probably put the information down below what kind of like Olay one I got, but that one I'm gonna use more for nighttime. Um, I forgot one thing. Bought a new sunscreen. Um, it's called Comfy Water Sunblock by Purito. Um, I was never wearing sunscreen. This has been doing so much good to my skin. It does leave a little bit of a white cast, nothing too crazy. Just rub it in a little bit more. Um, but it's very faint. Other than that, it's really nice too. So check this one out. This I got on Amazon actually. 
So that was, that's gonna be our next thing we're gonna talk about too. Before Amazon, I did buy some Nike shoes. So I bought three pairs. Yes, three pairs. So the first pair are all white. They're the chunky type of shoes. They're, these are really, really pretty. They're so nice. I think they're really cute. I'm new to the whole like chunky shoe type of thing. I get a lot of compliments. Um, I have worn them out a little bit. You know, I do have a job. So I do go out um, and we are wearing casual clothes right now. So I've been taking advantage of that. So I've been wearing my Nike shoes. So they like that one. Next pair I have is the same pair. Yes, I bought the same pair, just different colors. I tend to do that a lot and you're gonna see also the clothes that I have. Um, I just figure if I like the style, I'm gonna want another color. So why not? So um, this one I have, it's really cute, um, black and white. I needed, you know, a basic one too, just so like I'm not always wearing a white shoe because it'll get dirtier faster. So happy with them, so pretty. And then these, like the reflective, also on the white shoe that reflects, and this reflects too, I believe. So, next one I have is these ones. These ones are like the Nike Renew. Um, these are really, really cute. I love, I love the color green. So anything green is so pretty. So this is a teal. Color. I really really like them. So these are gonna be like my new running shoe. Um, those ones are more for casual, like to walk around in. These ones are more for like actually working out. By the way, I miss the gym like so much. Like I'm such a baby about it. I wish I could go back and I can't. I need to hurry up. Cause this quarantine body, oh girl. So next for Amazon, I bought like a little lounge set. Um, since lounge wears being like a big trend right now because people just want to be comfy which is I'm all for it uh, and what this is a matching pair it comes together um, it's just a basic hoodie basic hoodie so it has zippers so it zips up pockets are okay so and it's pretty cute pretty cute uh, and then I also got the the sweatpants so here's the thing what i really wanted i wanted the chunky like sweatpant look these are not it however this set is comfortable to wear i'm okay with it it's not a bad buy it's really a decent buy especially like if i'm gonna go somewhere like grocery shopping or going out and about it's very comfy um, another thing i bought on amazon was a one-piece swimsuit i do have two-piece bikinis but since quarantine happened, my body is not where I want it to be. I want to do like actual like swimming. Um, I don't want like my boobs to be like not supported. So with a two piece, you know, even as tight as you make it, still not I guess supportive. So and I really like it. It's really nice. It has a cute little design on the bag. Nothing too major. Um, fits well. I got it in a medium. I'm usually a medium size for a lot of things. Um, and this one fit pretty good too. It wasn't too loose. Wasn't too tight. You know they fit perfect so that one was a good buy as well and that's all i got from Am oh amazon so you're kind of on it right now i'm i bought a tripod um a lot of my friends know that i bought a tripod i say it on my instagram follow me on elon yo you know just in case you want to follow me so the tripod's pretty cool i like it. i enjoy it it goes really high too right now i have it like at the second notch because i don't want it too high i just wanted to have it like close enough but i like it so far it's nice it comes with this the tripod so i'll link it too um it comes with so like the bluetooth so like right now i'm using it to record and not record that's gonna save here i really like it very nice very neat next is target what i bought i bought basic tees because i've been needing like just regular basic t-shirts so this one's a white one pretty nice i haven't bought white shirts in a long time not really I don't know i feel like i'm afraid i'm gonna get them dirtier than other tops but i'm glad i bought one so it's nice to have like a basic white t-shirt next one i have is this like burnt orange brownish color this one so very pretty very pretty color i love my color palette it's more like of like warm clothes i don't really wear any like cool tone color clothes um so this is like more like my palette um, I bought this one in a large, so this one's a large and this one is in a medium. I also bought another shirt, it's like a navy blue type of color. That one's in a medium as well. So I bought this one in a large, 
one because it was the only one left it didn't have medium and then two i like the little bit of a saltier effect with this one especially with this color it just looks very chill and basic so this one i really like as the large then the other two i'd rather have them more fitted anyway so that's that okay let's start with navy old navy so my body type i am usually a medium and then sometimes large in other types of clothing right now i'm more like of like a pear shape i believe like i'm a little bit i'm bigger on the waist down so when it comes to jeans i usually buy jeans either at least at eight um but right now um a 10. and then also i am petite so i like to take advantage of websites that have petite sections it just makes it easier for me since i am like short um buying jeans it's like the worst thing ever it's really hard looking for jeans my size or my type start off i got jeans i had got two pairs of jeans from old Navy. so i bought these ones these are the rockstar super skinny high rise um old navy jean this one i got in a 10. very nice pretty not too long I like the stitching you know basic pants they fit good nice high rise I really like how they look on me they look really pretty then I bought one in black so this one same things rockstar super skinny high rise 24 hour sculpt very pretty these the stitching is all black, so it's black on black so it looks nice as well really enjoy it it's fits really good I get a lot of good compliments on these jeans. They fit really nice on my body. So, very happy with that one. Now, what I love about Old Navy, their basics. Oh my god, they have a lot of basics in one sitting. So, I don't have to go to like another store, to another store, to another store. But camis and tanks. So, the first cami I got is a white cami. So, their cami line, what they have, their um, like spaghetti strap they have the ones that you could adjust which is really nice you know considering if i wanted to go a little bit higher or short um the torso on these camis they're really nice for me so they're not too long on my body i hate buying camis or that are like super long like to like the bottom like like where my hip is at it's not flattering to me i don't like that so these ones hit right where i want them so this one's the white one and the white one's kind of see-through, not too much, nothing too crazy, as long as you're wearing like a nude bra, um, it won't be that big of a deal, but um, but it fits very nice. Next color, that one in gray, simple fit, nothing spectacular. I needed a lot of basic, um, that one in black, nothing too major. This one, this is my favorite color. Like this one's really a nice color. It's like the, I think it's like, cocoa or, or mocha this is such a pretty color it like flatters my skin tone and everything i really like this color a lot so i'm glad i bought that one and then the last cami i got is like a lighter nude like more like of a beige color basic you know they all fit really nice now with tank tops i really like their line because they're not the racer back back in the day i used to wear like the things that like make your bra go together um, that clip them these ones are racer back because i don't wear those clips anymore i don't see the need to wear them anymore um so these ones i don't have to worry about my straps showing so it's pretty nice and i got it in white oh basic white this one same thing as obviously with whites they are they can be a tad see through but this one's more forgiving the other one since since this one is more like of a rib um this one's in gray like the gray one too i really like these tank socks especially right now since i've been tanning i like the tan um then i have the black one very pretty black one is really slimming i really like it so i can't wait to start wearing this one out on the belt so for the camis they have like the basic coloring white black gray and then like the tan colors um they don't really have any like you know blues red or greens so that's what i got in the tank tops so this one is the blue one very cute, very nice. And we also have the maroon color, the reddish maroon. Really like this color. Then I got this green. I, again, I love green. I love olive. 
So that was all of my Old Navy buys. Overall, Old Navy, honestly, their clothes are really nice. So good shipping. Um, try to take advantage of their um, half off specials. They usually do it on the weekend if you're like really interested um, and you don't have to spend so much like on basic tops. Next, Fashion Nova. This, okay, here's the thing. I bought 21 items. There was a sale. Well, it was the stay home um, 30 to 80%. That saved a lot when I was buying all this stuff. I bought mostly tops, bodysuits, and then a little bit of like body clothes when it's like the summer. When shopping through Fashion Nova, what I did, I went to their blowout section and like their final sale section just to see what they have left over that I would consider buying. So I did buy a few things in there. I think there's only a few, not that much, considering of how much was left. Um, but that's how I started the shop and then I gradually go like, okay, if there's a little bit more I could do it, a little bit more I could do it. I also bought another Fashion Nova top, not with this order, but one after the fact because with this order I did buy this top. It's like a little crop top, it's very cute. It looks cute, I probably put the model as well on the side, I don't know how I'm gonna do it. But um, I got this in a large earlier. Um, package it had a medium and I could not get it to fit like this part was not stretchy enough so I'm assuming this one will be nice I'll let you know down below if it fit um, but it's really cute it's like a basic crop toppy type of like long sleeve look very casual nice with like cute jeans that I can't wait to buy I gave the medium one to like my sister-in-law she is more of like a slimmer fit so she would really like that one um, First is gonna be this one that I'm wearing. This is just a basic tie-dye um, sweater. I've been living in this nonstop through like the last couple of days. It's super soft, um, very nice, very like the tie-dye. Love the tie-dye look. I've always liked tie-dye, so I'm glad it's coming more of like of a trend. Next, I got this one. It's a long sleeve tie-dye with a little design on the back. This is the All of Your Love tie-dye pullover. Very, very cute. It's very different because it has a little design on the back, which you'll see in the video. Next, I have this one. I love this one. And it's a boxy crop top tie-dye. This one is called Memory of Me Sweatshirt. It should be the one. Um, very cute though. I love the tie-dye color look with the blues and the greens and the pink. Very different than what I usually wear, but that one would be really cute with high waisted black jeans. This one is another tie-dye red. A little bit different than this one because this one's more like of a t-shirt material, so it's more lighter. Very cute, very basic. Honestly, I think I'll probably wear this one more when I'm working out or like pajamas. And then I might wear it out. I believe this one is the I'm not done yet top. I think I'm not sure um, it's really cute it has hints of blues orange um, and then purple so a lot of like warmer colors with the blue as a dark color this type of fabric when putting it on my arms they're a little bit bigger so when like this doesn't have really that much like, of a give when it comes to stretching so you just have to like work yourself into it but other than that it everywhere else it fits really nicely not too much of a big deal this one, I believe the name is like I'm not yours top. These names are I, they're kind of random. I don't understand who, who makes these names, but this one, the I'm not yours top. It's a little crop top with a little like tie in the front. So pretty nice. I like the color, it's nice and soft, very pretty material. So next I bought is this one is called Living It Top. So this one. It's more like of a crop top, but you could try to tuck it in like high-waisted pants or jeans. That's what I'm going to try to do with these. Um, very cute. And this is one of those buys where it's like you forget what you buy and then when it came in, you're like, well, why did you buy it? That's why. I forget that there was a like t an opening on the back. The vision was for this top was to wear it at work. Um, I My job, I have to wear blazers and pants, pantsuits, so I thought, hey, this would be kind of cute under a blazer, and especially with this hole in the back. So, but overall, I think it's pretty cute. 
I would wear twerk though. This one is called Too Cute for a Companionship Top. I really like this material. It has like a, a bell sleeve. Really flattering. So this I would for sure wear to work. Tuck it into some pants. Really cute. It's not see-through. I wouldn't think it would be that see-through. When I tried it on, it didn't look like it was. So that's a plus to it. So that for sure for out. But this one is a turtleneck maroon long sleeve. I know, you're thinking, why did I buy a turtleneck when it's gonna be summer? I'm telling you, the vision, the vision is there. So when I do wear it, it's probably gonna be more like during like the autumn time. Um, I don't usually wear turtlenecks. This is my actually first ever one, so I have to figure out how I'll like it on me. Ends on here, very cute buttons. It came with an extra one, just in case one of them fell off, so that's pretty nice. Um, material is very nice, very soft. And then plus where I work, it's cold. So hence why we wear blazers all the time. Um, so it wouldn't be that much of a hassle to wear it when I'm inside. Now this one I love. This one's really, really cute. Yasmin Square, so pretty. I'm definitely, when I get paid, I'm definitely gonna buy more of these in different colors. I think there's a black one and there's a red one. I love the square neckline that it has with this. It's very flattering, very pretty. Can't wait to wear this to work. Very, very nice. Now this one is one of the blowout sale ones that I bought. This one, one I got in a lot because it was the only one left. Um, it does fit. I only bought it because it was like one of those like trendy tops where like it had like the lettuce type of like ending right here. And then it had like the like, how do you call it? The peplum skirt type of looking at the, at the end. So it goes, it flares out. It looks really cute. It's very breathable. Um, so it doesn't feel like it's hot because of like the tech type of material it is. Very, very cute. Something different. I want to try something different. And it only was like under four bucks for this. So that's why I got it. The next one I got is this one. It's a wrap shirt. I believe it's called the Blooming Romance shirt. This one was also like on their sale. So you tie in the middle. This one's very sexy. It's more of show your cleavage area. Very, very cute for like a date night type of shirt. Um, I also see it with, if I wear one of the camis, tuck it in, make it kind of look like a crop top, and then it will just cover a little bit of like the top. And it'll still look cute, still look flattering, playful. Okay, I had to get this. My little Cholita side from high school wanted me to get this so bad. Um, it is the angel crop top. It's, bro, it's very cute. I'm sorry. I have, I have a stomach tattoo, which I love to show off my tattoo. Um, especially like with the crop tops. This is really, really cute on. I'm really glad I bought it. It was worth, I believe, whatever I spent for it. I think it was like $19.99 or I don't know. But it's really, really cute. So now on to bodysuits. I got this one. I believe this one's the Attention on Me bodysuit. It's really cute. Nothing too crazy about it. It's just, it's a rib material. It's not see-through, which is awesome. You have to wear this with a strapless bra, nothing too major, fits really nice. Um, no complaints there, it looks really cute when you see it, when I try it on. I'm sorry, this one is called The Last Kiss Rib. I believe this is the one that's called Attention On Me, I'll double check as well. But what it is, is a halter top bodysuit. Now, when I was going to the gym, I do have like a nice, like slim type of look to me. And I love how I look in halter tops, which is why I bought this halter top. Um, it's like one of those materials where it looks like it's like a crochet, but it's not crochet. It's some other type of material. It looks really, really sexy on video. I really enjoy it. It is see-through on the boot area, so you're definitely going to need some pasties to cover it up if you do or if you don't. Um, but I know I would for sure, but it's really, really cute. Then I got this bodysuit. I don't know the name of it. It's just a regular long sleeve maroon color. I love the sleeves on it. It's going to be really, really cute for work. Then I got this bodysuit. It's called the Rose Parade bodysuit. This is the front. This is the sleeve. So here's the thing with this one. With this bodysuit, you'll see in the video like how it like suffocates my arm. Right here, it's fine because it's more like, like a bell sleeve as well but it's just the arms, it's like my only qualm with it. Other than that, this is a really, really pretty bodysuit. It's enough sexy, it's enough cute. 
very very pretty and then plus i do have a tattoo on my arm so it does cover my arm tattoo so i don't have to worry about that being shown to customers and the last one and not least is this dress i am not happy with the dress honestly i don't know why i bought a dress in the first place i don't know where the hell i'm going there's nowhere i'm going um but i bought it just in case you know if I ever, when we do get out, if I want to go out, out, I have something cute. Now, the vision with this one is like those cow, the cow neck ones, which I really find flattering for me, which is really pretty. However, this one, the way how it fits, it's too short. So when I, I bend over just a little bit, my butt will fall out for sure. Um, and this is a large, so the, so like the cow neck, it's too oh. long. And I'm gonna need this in a medium, but the thing is, they didn't have it in a medium, which is why I bought it in a large. So, this one was a flop. So I guess I could get it altered if I like, but I don't see me altering it. Um, but it is pretty. I don't know, I'd probably give it to someone else. So out of all of that for the Fashion Nova, I bought 21 items, only 19 like passed me. Other than that, everything else fit perfectly to my liking. I like everything that I had in Fashion Nova. It's a very different type of style that I'm not used to, but overall, they're very key pieces. We have three dogs. We have one that's a boxer, his name is Gohan. One's an English Bulldog, his name is Gus. And then one that's like a terrier mix, her name's Callie. Um, they're barking at So that was my haul. Overall, I liked everything that I bought, obviously, because I spent my own hard money on it. Um, everything fit right. I don't have to return anything really. A lot of things that I bought are really meant for work, but then a lot of them are even cute casual tops, and a lot of them are just for like fun and being cutesy. Um, really like everything. I will for sure buy Old Navy products um, because I just like their basic type of fit. I will try some Fashion Nova in the future when it comes to jeans, so I'm very skeptical of it because I've never bought Fashion Nova jeans, but who knows, I might like it. Um, but for sure I'll be buying stuff from Old Navy, for sure I'll buy more tops from Fashion Nova um, in the near future. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that haul. I hope it was informative enough for people who have body types like me, because I know um, the YouTubers who are like more popular, a lot of them are either really skinny or that's pretty much it, they're just really skinny. So I'm hoping that I did help someone out when it comes to shopping. For sure, give Old Navy a try. Their clothes are really, really nice and just very basic, just basic needs of what you need in a wardrobe. Now, what to expect from this channel is I might do a video once a month, twice a month. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. When it comes to content, I probably will do more. Maybe I'll do like a swimming content. Maybe I'll do drawing. Maybe I'll do skincare. Um, or I do whatever you guys want to see. Not really a big big deal to me. This is really just hobby based type of channel. So so yeah, let me know if you want to do if you want me to do any more hauls in the future. Try to um, tell me which brands I should buy next. Um, and then I'll you know I'll try them out for you and see if they work out. And I'll do my review on it. Um, subscribe if you want to. No pressure. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hello from the future. I am chilling right now. I just realized I forgot to add in Victoria's Secret. So Victoria's Secret, what I bought, I needed I needed bras because the bras I had, they were like at their last hair. It was like, they're ugly, but ugly, so I needed new bras. So I bought four. So three of them are, let me see, this one these are the every i believe it's called hold on I'm trying to operate wear everywhere push up so these, these ones are from pink so this one i got like in like the, the cocoa color and i got one in like the uh, heather gray and another one in black so those are going to be like my everyday the one i'm wearing right now is the victoria's secret one it's the one that they advertise as like um a strapless bra but it does come with straps if you want to use straps and I, I needed a strapless bra because I like to wear um, halter tops and I like to wear sometimes like over um, um, that shows the shoulder tops. And with that, I can't wear like 
you know, with straps. So that one I wore throughout the video. Um, it worked really good. It's, it's really nice. It stayed on. Nice fitted. Um, very, very nice bras. Obviously, Victoria's Secret doesn't, you know, um, duh, disappoint. So, that's pretty much it. And that's all I have to share. Thank you for watching again. Um, if you have any recommendations of what I should film next or what I should buy next, just let me know. Put in the comments. Thank you. And I'll talk to you next time. Next time.